if I met Jeff Bezos 25 years ago, and he told me, Dave, I want you to invest in my company. What are you doing? I'm gonna start a bookstore in my garage. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna put it online. People will buy, buy online and I'm gonna ship out of my garage. But, but if you invest in me, Dave, someday, I'm gonna be the richest man in the world. I'll, I'll do over $100 billion. First of all, there is no such thing as $100 billion <laughs> 25 years ago. Statistically, there's no such thing. Countries didn't have 100, our <laughs> national debt wasn't $100 billion. And this dude's telling me at 26 years old that he's gonna be the richest man in the world because he has a garage oh. and the internet? That was his truth. Like he knew that, no, but he did not, he did not know it and neither did I, but the difference between him and I is I was laughing, scoffing and jesting at him and he was already applauding himself going, at the right way at the perfect time, I'm gonna make as much as I can as quickly and I'm sitting there going, there's no way this is gonna be a big business, mm -hmm. let alone a hundred billion dollar business. Mm -hmm. But in his mind, mm -hmm. and, and you know why you know he thought it was possible? Mm -hmm. Is because even when he got to points of that business that were bigger than other people's business, he invested 99% of his money back into the business. He took on more debt. He constantly took on more debt. He invested in himself, kept investing in himself, mm -hmm. where if he had voted for my, my system, he would have stopped investing and taken profits mm -hmm. and only been an American company, mm -hmm. not bought up all, I mean, he was going crazy with that. And I'm looking at the stock still while he's doing it going, damn. What is he doing? Where's that faith come from? Yes, he did not know about 100 billion, but he also didn't doubt it.